Hey y'all, welcome back to the DD Outdoors channel. Yes, I know it's been a few days since I posted the video, but guys, we're going to do the military surplus number 17. I didn't know I'd be making another one, but guys, I got some more military surplus stuff to wear, and we're going to break everything down in different videos. So today, I have the U.S. Air Force Tiger Striped digital camo also known as apex which stands for all-purpose environmental uh, camouflage okay or apex air force tiger strike this was the air force's attempt to do a digital uh camouflage just like the uh, ucp in the army and it didn't last very long but my dad did have a set of these in 2009 right before he retired from the air force from the military he got a set of these and this is the Gore-Tex jacket, or parka, however you guys want to call it. So we're going to go over the features of this jacket. I absolutely love this jacket. I love the camo pattern. I love the material. It's 100% nylon. Okay, this is a medium, short uh, size, if you guys really want to know. But we're going to go over some of the key features that I really, really like about this jacket. Um, the reason I got it is for hunting. Um, I wanted Sitka gear, but Sitka is really expensive. And I got this jacket for 60 bucks, whether that's good or bad. You guys can probably find it cheaper. I do have the pants right here. These are not the Gore-Tex pants. The Gore-Tex pants are coming, so I can have a whole set of rain gear, cold weather gear that's just like this jacket. But these are just the trousers. And I even have the um, the um, ABU uh, jacket over there, too, that will do different reviews on the pants and this. So let's get into it, guys. So this is a Gore-Tex jacket. Okay, it's a hard sell jacket. It's part of their seven-layer system the Ewok system that they have, um, and um, like I said, 100% nylon. This jacket only weighs about three pounds. I really, really like it. So let's start out here. So on the the sleeve here, you got Velcro enclosures for your um, for adjusting your wrist here. You guys do have a pocket on the arm. Again, a lot of Velcro on here. Also Velcro uh, for the arm pocket. All right. You've got your rank tab right here. Put your rank on here. Um, two chest pockets. Now, if you guys want me to do a review where I um, compare the Gen 1 Woodland Camo Gore-Tex jacket to this one, I will do. You've got another one on the side. Waterproof zippers, okay? And these things are stiff. These things are stiff because they are waterproof. Okay. And they zip up really really nice like this i love this camo pattern it's a sage green tan camo pattern if I ever go hunting in california i'll definitely be wearing this for my buddy brian over at the r ranch air gun fun channel y'all check that channel out it's pretty awesome okay it does have a hood which you can actually roll down and put inside the collar right here guys okay um I wore this in the pouring rain today, guys. Water beat it up on it. No problem whatsoever. Kept me dry. Extremely breathable. Compared to the Gen 1 that I have, that's Woodland Camo, okay? You could get really hot. It has a different liner. But, guys, this is what the inside looks like right here, okay? Um, like I said, it's Gore-Tex. Everything is seam sealed, okay? Everything is seam sealed really, really nice. All right. Um, here's the actual model number or the issue number if you guys want to know um, and Let's just roll this hood up in here when you guys roll the hood up it all closes with velcro this thing is covered in velcro um, There we go now there are two Pockets right here on the bottom Okay, they are very big right here um they do have cinch straps on the inside for tightening around your waist right here. Okay, and same on the other side. But the good thing is they tuck down in here and they won't get in your way. Okay. Um, they also have cinch straps on. I thought they had cinch straps on the bottom. Um, they have cinch straps right here for the hood to, um, you know, cinch your hood down and everything too. Um... This jacket is kind of noisy when it's quiet in here, but when I brought it outside, I walked out to the mailbox with it on today. I couldn't tell how loud it was when I'd be hunting. So, another thing is, I got like a bomber style pocket right here, which is really, really nice. Again, $60 on eBay, whether that was good or bad. Um, 
I don't know, but I just love this jacket. It's going to keep me dry in the rain, and if it snows, it can help keep me warm. So this is part of their cold weather system. So they got base layers and all kinds of stuff, just like the U.S. Army did. And, uh, yeah, so this is the Gore-Tex jacket. I've also got the Gore-Tex pants coming. They'll eventually be here. Now you can cinch up the collar with this cinch right here. Okay, but that's just a nylon rope one. I don't know. It's a little bit different. Uh, the way it fits. Okay. I know this isn't a very, um, a very detailed video, I guess. I try not to make my military surplus reviews very, very detailed and specs and all that stuff because I don't want to get information wrong. So the way it fits, I mean, it's super nice. Um, I just like the fit. I like how comfortable and lightweight this is compared to the other one that I have. And it's just a really nice jacket and it looks good on me. So if I was a stand-up guy, how the whole uniform would look, which I have to pause the camera to do that, guys. But um, This is a medium short, so it actually fits me really, really well. Again, fabric, it might be a little noisy. Going to draw a bow, you got to draw it slow. You know, if I was going to wear this um, hunting or whatever. But yeah, guys, this is the uh, Military Surplus number 17, the Apex gear uh gore-tex jacket from the u.s air force y'all check it out at your local army navy surplus store hope you guys like this review um everything is pretty tight i mean all the zippers they got all these pull oh yeah one thing i forgot to mention speaking of zippers they all have these long pull tabs on here ykk zippers they are waterproof they do have ventilation um ports right here so you can get some airflow in here if you guys need to um, it was about 50 degrees out today, and I wore this, and you can feel the breeze through it, which is good because it's breathable. And I just, I love this jacket. Love it. Love it, love it. So I think one of my next videos I'm going to do for you guys is actually going to be comparing this Gore-Tex jacket to my Gen 1 Gore-Tex jacket, which could be in the next couple of days. So y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.